ATM Together helps aspiring entrepreneurs start their own businesses, but that's not all they do. They also give back. Paul Alex, founder of ATM Together, is joining me now along with Gedim Jonas, the CEO, the COO, excuse me. Thank you both for joining us today. Ricky, nice to have, no, well, nice to be here. Yeah, we're so excited to have you. Now, I'm a little curious about your business because yes. there's been one time where I thought I could be an entrepreneur, I wanted to start my own business. So what exactly do you do? Yes, absolutely. So I actually come from the nine to five, used to be in law enforcement for the past seven years. Ultimately, I started all from a side hustle, um, automated teller machines. Everybody knows those ATM machines at gas stations, liquor stores, everywhere, absolutely in the United States. I never knew that you can invest in one. I ultimately invested into one went to 30 locations and was able to leave my nine to five. And I just started basically an automation program online called ATM Together in January of 2021, where we basically help everybody in the United States start their own ATM business. Cool, that's amazing. Well, here in Vegas, we have cake ATMs. I mean, there's an ATM for everything out there. So <laughs> I love that we have this as well. Now tell me a little bit how you are giving back. It's the holidays, it's a great time to give back. So how are you doing that? Yeah, so we actually just recently donated to a local foundation in San Diego. So we thought, hey, how can we find the most local and most connected foundation with the community? And we found what's called It's All About the Kids Foundation. Yeah. They actually help serving kids in the actual San Diego community that actually have food insecurity. So we donated $100,000 just to give back for our holidays, specifically Christmas. Amazing. Yeah. And I have to imagine, like, when you give back that much money, like, you see the impact that it help has yeah. with those kids. Like, that must make you feel so good as a COO to help people in need, right? Exactly, yeah. And we actually got a volunteer with them, pack food and produce for these families, too. Mm -hmm. And we understand. Paul and myself, we grew up in not the uh, best environments. And we understood you having to deal with actual uh, food assistance. So we wanted to actually give back even though we became successful too. That's amazing. Well, yeah. Paul, tell me a little bit more about your background because yeah. quite the transition, right? Yeah. To go from your past in the law detective business and now doing this, like what made you want to switch over? I was working anywhere between 60 to 100 hour work weeks. Oh, as much fulfillment as I had actually helping the community in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area where I'm from originally, go Niners. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know they just um, clinched that division. They're yes. doing very well. Yes, mm -hmm. um, ultimately, I, it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't sustainable. 60 to 100 work weeks, uh, injuries, lower back pains. I'm about to be 35 next month. Go Capricorns. And then, <laughs> I love it. And then, and then ultimately, um, yeah. So I started a side hustle because I wanted to make passive income. Yeah. And ultimately, the difference between active and passive income is you actually have to be there to actually earn that actual income. And what I always tell everybody is that if you only have one source of income, you're only one step away from poverty. So yeah. how do you secure your future? How do you build that generational wealth? How do you make it seem like you're going to be that first millionaire in your family, right? Yeah. So ultimately, you have to look for different opportunities. Most millionaires have about seven sources of income. So at the end of the day, I always had about three or four. I was like, hey, I'm going to push it to the limit. And that's what I did with ATMs. Ultimately, I started that the last two years while I was a detective uh, for Special Victims Unit. And then from there, I was able to scale that I started looking into digital marketing and my entire time in law enforcement oh it was it was beautiful because it actually made me a leader it made me an actual person that was able to run a company um, now we have about 21 employees mm -hmm. and ultimately if it wasn't for law enforcement I wouldn't have the foundation to do what I do as an entrepreneur now yeah that is amazing what a great story and what's cool is you've built a great foundation but now I'm dying to know what's the future looking like I know we're looking at crypto and all those good things so what's in store yeah, so we actually launched a new offer. So it's crypto ATMs, right? Mm. So they complement cash ATMs because we found what would be the best expansion for our clients. So as you know, right now, there's a lot of fear in crypto, but we have an offer where we actually allow our clients to own the machines. They don't have any underlying exposure to crypto themselves, and they make a profit whenever anybody buys or sells crypto on their machines. So they're basically a broker. So it's just a no sense, it's a no nonsense offer that makes sense for our clients. And that's why we're seeing so much demand right now. Yeah, absolutely yeah. makes sense. And I think you're really hitting home for a lot of people out there. Yeah. I'm sure some people are watching this and they're like, I've always wanted to get more income. I always want to do that. Yeah. So what advice would you give for somebody who kind of wants to be in your position right now? Imperfect action. Mm -hmm. And we tell each other that every single day when we can't make a decision, we're being indecisive. Hey, let's just do it and go with it. Because even though you make mistakes in life, those mistakes you're gonna learn and you're not gonna do it again. So ultimately, entrepreneurship, a lot of the greats out there, um, whether it was Kobe Bryant or anyone else that perfects their craft or is an expert in their industry, 
they had to make the mistakes and then learn from it and then become the expert. Ultimately, right. same thing with entrepreneurship. Most people don't understand that with entrepreneurship, you are gonna make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And the guys that are doing multi-millions or even billions, they've been there, they've done that, and everybody starts from day one. Amazing, my friends. I seriously love everything about this. I'm so glad you were able to come on to the show today. And go Niners! <laughs> <laughs> Biggest thing. Well, for more information, all you have to do is just head over to atmtogether.com. You can also follow them on social media.